O-M-G. Welcome back to my channel. So excited you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. I'm outside of the CVS. Coming at you with my Monday CVS haul. We have, of course, another super hot week this week at CVS because the ads run for two weeks. So this is the second week of our CVS ad. Our instant um, CRTs that we get always reset on the next sales week. So we got, of course, another 10 off 25 personal care, which just makes for a fantastic deal. So if you are new and you just found me so happy that you are here, would you please say hello to me and let me know you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you and say hello to you. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I sure do appreciate you. Hope you're having a fantastic day and hope you are loving CVS as well. I will tell you, CVS has been good, like good for months now. The deals have just been amazing. This particular two week ad with the epic beauty event with that 10 off 25 is exceptional. So I was super excited to get to CVS. I will be working with a 10 off 70 as well. We all know the drill, but just in case you're new, if you are signed up for emails, some accounts will receive a percent off coupon in your email. It's either a 10% or a 20% off a regularly priced item. You might get a different percent off all of them should work. Anyways, if you use that, you go, I just go buy a cheap piece of candy with that's regularly priced, use my 20% off or my 10% off. And typically the next day, a, a flash threshold coupon will show up in your email. I get a 10 off 70. That's all I get, but they can vary by account. And you get it the day after you use the percent off coupon and it's good for the day you receive it and the following day only. So don't go use it on Friday if you can't do your shopping until Tuesday because then you're going to get the threshold coupon on Saturday and it's going to be good on Saturday and Sunday only. It'll be expired. So you got to kind of strategically plan that out. But that's how you get a threshold coupon. Now, you could use the percent off coupon and not get a threshold. That does happen sometimes. So just be aware of that. So anyways, you don't even need a threshold to shop this week because we got the 10 off 25. It's amazing. We're going to run into the store. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Let's go grab some awesome deals. Happy Monday. We are in the CVS to do our shopping. Super duper excited about this week. We're going to grab some awesome, awesome deals. I'm going to start this off with a really big money maker. I wanted to grab these Neutrogena little stubborn acne patches. And my store said they had stock online, but they were not on the shelves. I love my store so much. They had them behind the counter because they're resetting this area and they're not gonna go in that spot anymore. So I got so lucky and I found two. They are $10.99 each. These are on promotion for spend 15. You earn back a $5 extra buck. And I forgot to show you, but I do have $3.50 printables that were available on coupons.com. There is a $4 digital, but I already used that. And then I also have a CRT for $5 off of 20 Neutrogena and Aveeno that attaches to these. So I'm going to throw these in. And these, I'm just going to do a whole big transaction similar to what I did last week with the Active Rewards Visa promotion. So this has been running for a while. I've talked about it several times, but the last day to do this is the 7th of September. So expiration date is coming up quickly. You can find all the information right on the rebate site, like the limits, what products are included, because there's a ton of products included. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the top tier again, the spend 75, earn back a $25 visa. I did this last week with a few different products than what I'm gonna do today. I already got approved for my $25 visa. So we're gonna do it again. I have one more redemption that I can do for this rebate. So now we're gonna move on to the spend 25, earn back a $10 extra buck deal on Aveeno and Neutrogena body and facial care. So I'm grabbing an Aveeno body wash for $11.79 and two Aveeno lotions for $10.29. I have a $3 digital coupon for the Aveeno body wash. 
a $3 digital coupon for the Avino lotion. And for the second lotion, I'm gonna throw in a $3 printable coupon. I also have a CRT for $3 off when I spend 12 on lotion that I got in my email. So I'm gonna throw that in here as well. And all of these products also qualify for the um, get $10 off when you spend 25 in beauty and personal care. So I'm gonna be using three separate threshold coupons in this transaction. You can use multiple as long as you meet the spend requirement of each one individually. So I need to have $57 in product to be able to use all three of those, which I'm gonna have $75 in product, so they'll all work together. So the last thing I'm gonna throw in is the Neutrogena makeup. So I'm in the makeup section and I'm gonna grab three packages of the 21 count wipes. Don't get the ones from the facial care section. These are $7.59 in my store. And the Neutrogena makeup is on promotion for buy three products and you earn back a $10 extra buck. So now all of these products in my cart total me $77.12. I've got some coupons for the makeup wipes. I'm gonna throw in a $2 printable for one of them that I got from coupons.com. Then digitals, I have a $2 digital for one, and then I have a $3 off two that will also glitch and come off. And then remember, I'm using the 10 off 25 in beauty and personal care, the three off 12 lotion, and the five off 20 Aveeno and Neutrogena facial care. So after all my coupons, I'm gonna be left to pay $36.12 for these products. I'll earn back a total of $25 in extra bucks and submit for the $25 visa. So these are all gonna be a $13.88 money maker. And then I'm probably gonna throw this in on all of my cards, but I grabbed two checkout candies. They're on sale two for $2.50 and they're buy two, earn back a $1 extra buck. And Heather sent me these um, Peely coupons for a dollar off. So I'm definitely gonna stock up on some candy cause they'll be 25 cents each. All right, I've switched cards and we're gonna do another transaction and my store restocked on the Axe, not very many. I actually wanted to do it on two cards, so they have four, which is perfect. These are buy one, get one 50% off and buy two, earn back $3 in extra bucks. They're priced at $6.49 in my store. So two are gonna total me $9.73. I have a digital coupon for $7.50 off of two. So I'll pay two twenty-three. dollars Earn back $3 in extra bucks makes these a little 77 cent money maker. Next deal I'm gonna do is on the Real Techniques or Eco Tools. This is a fantastic deal. Uh, be careful of this one in the case. I know my store's tagged, but somebody told me it's not actually working. Um, but my girls love these sponges and they are on promotion for spend 15, earn back 10, which is the best promotion I've ever seen on these. So I grabbed one at $11.29 although I thought it was $11.99. Um, and then the other one at $6.29. No, the single one is $6.99. So these two total me $17.58. I'll earn back the $10 extra buck and our 10 off of 25 applies to these. I really wanted to grab some more Persil. I'm not surprised that my store is out of stock of these $6.99 ones. They're buy two, earn back a $5 extra buck. I have hang tags and we have Ibotta rebates. My store's all out. You can grab the bigger ones. They're $13.99, buy two, earn back a $6 extra buck, and we have $3 Ibotta rebates. I'm not gonna grab those. What I am gonna grab is the Maybelline. This is one of my girl's favorite mascaras. They're on sale for $9.99 and they're on promotion for buy one, earn back a $5 extra buck. Also applies with the 10 off 25, a lot of products do. Um, and we got a $2 digital coupon. And this is for the Sky High Mascara. So it would make it $2.99 before a 10 off 25 is even applied which is a great price for this mascara. They're normally $14.49 at CVS. As a filler item, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the CoverGirl. They're on promotion for buy three, earn back $10 in extra bucks. Now I told you yesterday in my Walgreens haul, Nurse Paula, where I get my paper coupons from, was in the hospital, so she's a little behind and I haven't got my coupons yet this week. So I am gonna use $2 printable coupons 
and a $2 digital for the third ones. But if you got the inserts, we got $3 coupons. So after coupons, I'll pay $10.47, earn back a $10 extra buck. But it is a great item to add in with my 10 off 70. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Crest toothpaste. They're $3.99 each. And on promotion for buy two, earn back a $4 extra buck. And I have a $3 off two digital coupon. So far, every product in my cart qualifies for the 10 off 25. I have way more than $25 though, but I'm gonna also be using my 10 off 70 flash coupon that I received in my email. Now, since I couldn't get the Persil, um, I had to improvise a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the um, L'Oreal Alvive. They're two for 10 and they're on promotion for buy two, earn back a $3 extra buck. Um, because we use this product, my girls love this product and I have somebody that really likes it too. I'm just going to go ahead and grab this. So I'm going to grab two of them for $10. I have a $3 off to digital coupon. So I'll pay seven, earn back three, it makes them a dollar fifty each. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and grab some diapers for my grandbabies. They are on sale two for 22 Buy two, earn back $5 in extra bucks. If you caught my haul last week, I do have a $3 off two digital coupon for these. Um, if you caught my haul last week, I tried to use a Pampers OTC from the Pampers Rewards. If you don't know what the Pampers Rewards is or the OTC coupons from them, go check that video out because I fully explained it. And anyways, because I used extra bucks and a threshold coupon, my OTC coupon lowered down and it only took off 514 instead of the full 10. I'm gonna see if I can use the remaining balance of like 480. And I will have to go to a cashier for this transaction because you can't use those OTC coupons at self-checkout, which that's totally fine. But normally I do go to self-checkout so I don't bother my cashiers, but I love my store and they are super duper helpful. So now all this stuff in my cart is gonna total me $97.64. So I'll be able to use that 10 off 25 personal care for this card and throw in my 10 off of 70. If my Pampers OTC coupon works, everything's gonna end up costing me about 11 bucks. If it doesn't work, it's gonna end up costing me about $15. So I'll let you know at the kitchen table. All right, we're gonna do one more transaction. Switched cards again, and I was so happy to see one gain fireworks. I'm gonna do the spend 30, earn back 10. So I grabbed this Gain Fireworks for $9.99. I have a $3 digital. I'm gonna grab the Gain Detergent for $9.99. I have a $3 digital for this one. And then I'm gonna grab some Bounty Paper Towels for $10.99. And I have a $1 digital coupon for this one. These are all on promotion for spend 30, earn back $10 in extra bucks. So these three will total me $30.97. I have $7 in digital, so I'll pay $23.97, earn back a $10 extra buck. But I did get a 10 off 70 on this card as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in. I had hoped to grab Persil for this card as well, but my store is out, so I have to switch things up on this transaction. And my store did restock on the Big Dove Pump, so I guess I'm gonna do this one this week instead of the Persil. So these are $9.99 each, buy two, earn back a $3 extra buck. And we're gonna get a little glitch with these. We do have a $6 off two digital coupon and a $5 off three. And then we've also got this promotion on the Dove Bar Soap, which I'm super excited about this one because I love this bar soap. I'm not gonna pay $6.49 for one bar, but if I can get it super cheap, I'm definitely gonna add it into a deal. So I'm grabbing two of these. These are on a separate promotion for buy two, earn back a $3 extra buck. Our five off three digital coupon attaches as well as a $3 off two for the bars. So these four products will be $32.96. All three of those digitals will come off and my 10 off 25 personal care. I'll pay $8.96 earn back a total of $6 in extra bucks, makes all four of them just $2.96. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the mascara on this card as well, cause my girls love it and it's just a fantastic deal. So same deal as before, I have a $2 digital coupon on this card, I'll pay $7.99, earn back a $5 extra buck. I'm gonna grab the Crest toothpaste on this card as well, $3.99 each, buy two, earn back a $4 extra buck, and I have a $3 off two digital. 
And I threw in some more of the Reese's candies for two for two fifty. I'll use another one dollar um, hang tag coupon or peely coupon, whatever you want to call them. Earn back a dollar extra buck. All right, so now everything for this transaction is just under $95. So I'll be able to throw in my 10 off 70 along with my 10 off 25. Uh, after all my coupons, I'm gonna pay about $40, $40.32. I'll earn back $29 in extra bucks, which is gonna make my cost $11.32. All right, let's head to the kitchen table and go over this CVS haul. But first, uh, Cutie showed up when I got home. I have two squirrels that I feed, Cutie and Sweetie. In case you want to see it, I thought I would show you a little Cutie. Hi, come on, are you coming down? You coming down? Come on, cutie. You coming? I got more for you. You coming? I don't see. You. Where are you? Where are you? Cutie. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Hi. Yes, come on. Come on. That's my girl. That's my sweetest girl. Hi. Hi. There you go. There you go. You don't have to go all the way up in the tree to eat. You know I'm not going to bother you. You went all the way up there. You silly old thing. You silly old thing. Okay. I got to go finish my CBS video. So I'll leave you a few more, okay? Okay, cutie. I love you. All right. We are back at the kitchen table with this CVS haul. Uh, everything worked out great. I had one little thing happen that I'll just go over with you. Uh, just just because I always like to give you a heads up of things that can happen so you know how to fix them. Um, if I could have got the dang Purcell, this, I think the whole haul would have been a freebie. <laughs> but it was a very low cost, so I'm super duper happy with everything that I got. So let's go over these receipts. So first transaction was I grabbed the two Reese's and then all of the Neutrogena products. So paper coupons I used was $2 printable for the makeup remover wipes, the $1 for the Reese's, and two $3.50 for the Neutrogena Acne. And then all of my digital, oh wait, and the $3 um, printable for the Aveeno lotion. And then all of my digitals came off. Um, Aveeno body wash, Aveeno lotion, Neutrogena, $3 off two, and then Neutrogena, $2 off one. Um, so I used the 10 off 25 personal care, the five off 20 on Neutrogena facial care, and the three off 12 hand and body lotion CRT that I got emailed to me. I used $32 in extra bucks to pay for this and had a subtotal of 463. So I paid $36.63 for this transaction. I earned back $5 for the Neutrogena Acne, $1 for the candy, uh, $10 for the Neutrogena Cosmetics, and $10 for the facial and body care on Neutrogena and Aveeno, and then submitting for the $25 Visa because I purchased over $75 in product. Remember, it never excludes the use of coupons. So this little transaction right here was a $14.37 moneymaker. So, so excited about that. All right, then I did um, one little transaction just using my 10 off of 25 on a different card. Of course, I grabbed the candy again. And then on this one, I just added the CoverGirl and the Maybelline. Used my $2 printable coupons for the CoverGirl and my $1 for the candy. There's my digital coupons coming off and my 10 off 25 personal care. I used $8 in extra bucks and had a subtotal of 154. So I paid 954, earned back $1 for the candy, $10 for the cover girl and $5 for the Maybelline. So that little transaction was a $6 and 46 cent a money maker. Then I went to the cashier for the Pampers cause I wanted to see, I had like $4.80, 86 cents remaining um, on that OTC. I don't know if it's remaining. Like I, I didn't, I've never tried to use the, the same one again, but since it only took off 514 last time and it was $10, I thought, well, let me at least try it. So I went to the cashier. I got my Pampers, the L5, 
Um, I did throw in a Ghirardelli chocolate, which I didn't even put that out. It was 69 cents. The reason I did that was because, I'm just seeing if it's in my purse. It doesn't really matter. There it is. There. There we go. <laughs> the reason I did that was because I, for some reason, saw the tag on the Real Techniques as $11.99. And I noticed as she was ringing them up that they rang up for $11.29. So my store's so fantastic. They know me very well. And I was like, oh, those are only eleven twenty nine. Hang on. She was like, no problem. So I just got my phone out real quick, did the math. And I was like, oh, I'm going to be a few cents short to be able to use my 10 off of 70 since those only rang up for eleven twenty nine. So I just added the 69 cent Ghirardelli. So that's why that's on there. And then there's my two crests, my two acts, and the two real techniques. So this was all digital. There's my axe, my um, Pampers, the Crest, the L'Oreal, and there's my 10 off 70. I used $20 in extra bucks only, and I had a subtotal of $22.18. I didn't want to use too many extra bucks because I was trying to use that OTC coupon. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. It just kept saying, I had her scan it four times. Bless her heart. They're so patient with me. Because um, sometimes when you first scan the OTC coupons, they will say no eligible products. And then you scan them again and they work. They do that to me almost every time. So we, we tried it four times. And it, it just wouldn't work. So apparently you cannot use the remaining value of that. Now, because I knew I was going to have a subtotal to pay... I did take two $10 virtual visas that I have earned from doing the Activate Rewards promotion. And I go online, I just Google CVS gift card and I go online and I purchase a $10 CVS gift card. So that way it never expires because those visa cards expire like the following month after you get them. So anyways, I had two $10 ones I had converted. That's what I used to pay my $22 balance, but super bummed that the OTC, I just lost out on basically $5 on that. But we already talked about that last week. Again, if you don't know what the Pampers OTC is, I fully explained it in last week's video, and I also fully explained why it lowered down. So go watch that video if you haven't already. I earned back my $3 extra buck for the Axe, my $4 extra buck for the, what is that for? Oh, the Crest. My $10 extra buck for the Real Techniques, my $3 extra buck for the L'Oreal L5, and my $5 extra bucks for the Pampers. So for this transaction, I paid $42.18 and I earned back a total of $25 in extra bucks. I also have a little offer over on Fetch where if I spend $20 at CVS, I get back 50 cents. Since I did have a subtotal of 22, I just went ahead and submitted my receipt. So it made my cost for this transaction 16.68, which I already had two big money makers over there, so that's okay. <laughs> I wanted the diapers for my grandbabies. And I definitely wanted to see if I could use that OTC coupon. Now, had I been able to get the um, per sale in my transaction, my cost would have been, even without that OTC coupon, it would have been like $2. <laughs> so bummer, but sometimes stock is low and you can't get what you want to get. So then I did this last transaction here where I was using the 10 off 70 and the 10 off 25 in the same transaction, again, you can use threshold coupons multiple as long as you meet the spend requirement of every single threshold coupon you have. I did make a teeny little mistake in this one. So what I do personally, again, I do this at self-checkout, is I scan all of my products that I want my 10 off 70 to attach to the majority of, and then I scan the ones I wanted the 10 off 25 to attach to, because if too much of my 10 off 70 attaches to the personal care ones, then my 10 off 25 won't come off. I'm probably making this super confusing. But basically what happened was after my 10 off 70 attached and came off, my total in product after subtracting $70 was 24.18. 
if you like math like me, you're going to get this. If not, it might be confusing. I'm sorry. Um, so my 10 off 25 didn't come off. And I was like, wait, what the heck? And I just hurried up. I was at self-checkout. I hurried up and did the math. I was like, oh, you didn't meet the 98% rule of the 10 off 25, Jody. So what I did, you're going to see another <laughs> 69 cent Girardelli that I added onto here. Then they both came off just fine. So 98% of $25 is $24.50. And I was only at $24.18 after my 10 off 70 came off. So hopefully that makes sense. I have had a lot of questions recently about how do you know if your store follows the 98% rule? You know by testing a deal. That is the only way you are going to know. Do not ask your store staff. They're not, they're probably not even gonna know what you're talking about, most of them. Go do a transaction, make it 98% and see if your CRT works or make it 98% and see if your um, extra buck prints. So like if you wanted to test the gain, you can get three of them. They're $9.99 each. That would not be $30. If you get the $10 extra buck back, your store follows the 98% rule. Most stores do, but not all. So you're only going to know by testing it. So, all right, here is this transaction here. I got the two Reese's, um, the Girardelli that I added in, the two Dove, um, the two Gain, the Maybelline, the two Crest, the Bounty, the two Axe, and then the two Dove Bar Soap. So paper coupons I used was just the $1 um, tear pad coupon for the candy. Everything else was all digital. You can see my $5 Dove coming off, my $6 Dove coming off, and my $3 Dove coming off. So they all came off. All of my digitals came off. I paid $38 in extra bucks and had a subtotal of $1.94. So I paid 20, so I paid $39.94 for this transaction here. Um, and again, you can see my 10 off 70 and my 10 off 25 both came off after I added that Girardelli. Uh, I earned my $3 extra buck for the axe, $10 for um, the spend 30, earned 10, $4 for the crest. $5 for the Maybelline, $1 for the candy, $3 for uh, the Dove wash pumps, and $3 for the Dove bar soap. So I earned back $29 where I paid $39.94. So this transaction ended up costing me $10.94. So all in all, I grabbed $272 in product. I had a $10.94 cost. A sixteen sixty eight cost, a six forty six money maker, and a fourteen thirty seven money maker. So everything on the table ended up costing me six dollars and seventy nine cents, which I think is awesome. I got two laundry, two things of Pampers. I got some Bounty. I got the real techniques for my girls. A whole bunch of awesome Neutrogena products. So I am super duper happy with the way this haul turned out. And that is what I have for you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. And I'm going to see you again soon. Bye.